So let's talk about MetaZoo to the moon. Uh, MetaZoo obviously is a hot topic for Alpha Investment and for myself. And let's just be honest about where MetaZoo is. It's not in a good place. Lightens Gaming had a sale and the sale was selling booster boxes for $19.99 of UFO, first edition by the way. And they were also selling the Meta, the Tops Chrome for $29.99 and Seance, which I heard was a very popular set for $29.99. $29 and again, all first editions, I think Tom Chrome doesn't have a first edition, but you get my general sense was, it was a massive sale and things were incredibly cheap. And that's not a generally not a good sign when the MSRP is upwards of $140 a box. And they're, they're, these boxes have 36 packs, by the way, making each pack roughly 57, 58 cents, something like that, almost half a dollar. Now, Alpha Investments will say this is a good thing and, you know, pump to the moon. And I think if had Alpha Investments left, you know, you know, One Piece doesn't need him and Lokana doesn't need him. These two games are the hottest games in the marketplace right now, outside of obviously the big three. Uh, you gotta exclude the big three when you talk about the new card games, because it's not really a fair comparison because they've been in, in you know business for much longer. But Disney Lokana is hot. Uh, you can't find it at any Target or Walmart. And there's actually a subreddit where people just post pictures of how they did not find it, which is kind of humorous. And then the other one, One Piece, is very hot. But again, they have great content creators. Uh, and that's the one thing I really fear about MetaZoo is outside of Alpha Investment, who else is there left? Um, and there's like a dentist at the One Piece. He's kind of a humorous, he's kind of, he's kind of a weird guy, but I like him. He's kind of like a funny guy. Uh, but there's people who do One Piece and all they do is One Piece and they get thousands of views, which are nice, right? Uh, MetaZoo content creators barely get any views, right? I would know because I am one. Um, now, Alpha Investment, I think the pump is over for him. He's got he's got too many things on his plate. He's got the big grading company, and he's said many times before he's got to spend a lot of time on the, the grading company, the jank grading company, in my opinion, but that's my opinion. He's got to push Weiss. He still has a thousand a million dollars of that product, apparently. He's got to push Sorcery. He's got to push uh, Magic, obviously, is a big one for him. Pokemon, probably. And now he's gonna, he's gonna push One Piece. One Piece doesn't need him. I think actually he could probably tank One Piece. He's got Force, Force of Will now, he's pushing that again. Uh, collector boxes, like even in just Magic, if he only was gonna push Magic alone, it would be enough. Because of the sheer number of products he would be pushing on his Patreons. But Meta Zoo is definitely not in his um, main view. I mean, it is not important to him anymore, it's obvious. It's no longer, he's gonna do one more. He, the guy who does his promos is gone. So how, who's, who's gonna, he's gonna have his son do his promos from here on out? Like it's, it's strange, but I guess that would make sense, right? But MetaZoo is, in my opinion, um, I make videos about it just to kind of make fun of it. I hope people know it's a parody, right? It's not real. Um, I have never seen uh, I've never seen a living card game where a booster box has gone for twenty dollars a box. On uh, again, and then that's and then after like seventy dollars, the Lading's Gaming gives you like free shipping. I didn't even know Lading Gaming existed. That's low, man. That is that is crazy. I mean, I have you know like when I was a kid, I love like, Digimon packs used to go for under a dollar, and I used to love opening them. And they were really fun. They would come in these uh, Toys R Us. I remember going to Toys R Us and they would have these cards things for like 20 bucks. You would get like $50 a card, right? And it would be all these like random packs of games that you never heard of. I love that shit, man. But I don't remember recent times of anything like that happening where you could go to a store and you can buy 36 packs for $20. Uh, even when I was a kid for Digimon thing, I think it was like 20 packs for like $20 and that was considered like a steal. And that was really fun for me to open. I opened Survivor Packs and uh, uh, what was that? It was, uh, God, I remember it. Hack, dot hack card, card cards and Simpson Packs, right? They were all like a dollar. So they would have this thing where it's just like all the packs they couldn't sell of games that like no longer exist and they would sell it, you know, and then you could probably pick one that, you know, I used to love that stuff for Christmas and my birthday. Um, but like $1 a pack, you know, even back then, that was like when I was like, seven man or like eight or nine or something 
And occasionally they would have like a Yu-Gi-Oh pack or a Pokemon pack in it and it would be very exciting or a Magic pack in it. You know, it would have 19 packs of Digimon and one pack of Pokemon. Um, but I've never seen something that where it would be 36 packs for 20 bucks. I can't recall ever seeing that and, and the game is still alive. It's impressive, you know, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's impressive they kept going. Um, I mean, it, it's very impressive it kept going because most of the, the card games in those packs, right? And, and the, you know, towards us, like, you know, 20 packs for $20, they were like dead card games. Um, I bought Inuyasha packs for a dollar back in the day. Now they're going for $10, $12 um, online at least, and I can't get a hold of them. And I wish I, you know, could. Uh, now, Magic Zoo could be very interesting. I, I think um, from a collector standpoint, like, my God, it's cheap. Like, you know, like, what are we even talking about right now? We're talking about like 56, 50, 60 cent packs. This is incredible. And that's, inc that's incredible, like, and you got a dude selling $500 boxes of it all day long, right? And he's pushing his uh, promo cards for 300, 350 money effing dollars can get you what? 15 boxes easily. And, and, the, and the interesting part is it's not just like one or two boxes, it's not like a dragon maze that's only like 20 bucks. No, it's like a bunch of boxes that are around $30. Seance, Wilderness, uh, I know those are about $30, right? I don't know any other sets. Native, a hundred dollars plus. I mean, why well, buy a hundred dollar box of Native when you can buy like free? Oh, the Chrome, the Tops Chrome that everyone likes, the the serialized number Tops Chrome. I think Hello Kitty is gonna drop down to fifty dollars. If, if, if Hello Kitty drops down to like fifty bucks, my girlfriend and I will open some on camera for sure. But I, I don't know if we can drop down. I think it went from one forty to one hundred. I believe it's sitting on right now, but nonetheless, very interesting stuff. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Bye guys.